EOV, you're getting buried into this um, very nice uh, uh, bed. Yep, yep, it's very comfortable. Stay down there, don't come out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back here in an Axeberg. I got really inspired today to try something a little bit different, and that is to make myself a barn house. Literally living inside an actual barn. I'm pretty sure that, I mean, that is a thing anyway, right? That's not, that's nothing new or special. To me. I thought I would try that out today. I got really, really inspired by just looking at this, this video right here. Pumpkin Festival Fall Ambient Autumn Evening Nature Sound. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, I want to make a barn house. There'll be no potato cam today. I'm just doing a request for this video. Someone's like, can you put away the potato cam? I don't like it. I'll do it because I'm nice. I'll do it with, for this video. If you guys don't like potato cam, let me know. Uh, I haven't seen anyone complain about it, but I did see it like once yesterday. I'm like, oh, maybe I will. I'll do it just for them because I'm nice. Up tour again. Empty freedom. Oh gosh. The color of the house will actually be red. So uh, yeah, look at that. That's going to be fun. This also gives me the opportunity to just start building with the barn doors now. It's called it's called a rural sliding door, but it's called it's technically called a barn door though, right? I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do, so I'm looking at some references. I'm looking at a lot of references right now. Okay, I want to try. I'm gonna try and make this one. I think this is the most realistic option for me to try and recreate. Is because it's a simple box. You got your gable, and then you have a bit of some dormers here, right? I think that's what it's called dormers. Then you have like this mansard-like thing around. I should try this out. I think I'll do this one. This is a realistic option for me. I'm gonna put the roof on this real quick. Uh, roof thickness slightly. That should be it for now. And then we put a nice little dormer insert over here or something like a dormer yeah there you go oh no, there we go Maybe like a, a slanted roof over here we have this going on and then we need to put a uh mansard it's looking like the actual photo you know okay i think we need the pillars to make this look really nice and we have to add some detail to it too because it's gonna need some detail it's not just a pillar and you're done no we're gonna need more than that we're gonna need some detail it's five. Oh, that's perfect that was actually perfect wow wow oh my god it actually works pretty well look at that now we need more detail on these pillars because they're kind of just plain so we're gonna grab a, a structural structurals we're gonna use these uh square beams Probably maybe the standard one. And then just once again, we just connect it like this pillar to the roof like that. Just to, you know, it's a nice detail. And it also just gives it more structure as well. Like more strength, more support. And not like that. <laughs> not like that. Ooh, now that's interesting. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm doing these all the same. If they're not all the same, so sorry. Wait, it's actually looking decent now. It's actually looking decent. I'm trying to figure out how I could change this up a bit. Like actually like add something else to it. I want to change the grass color to be more uh, fitting for the autumn season as well. We need to give it that fall landscaping. Okay, 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 we're getting there. We're slowly getting there, guys. I told you it, was, it starts off questionable, but it will it will get somewhere. Oh, now that looks, uh, that looks more home-like. Wow, look at that. Visualize landscaping in your head, PETA. What is the best landscaping idea you have here? Oh, imagine fairy lights on this too. Some string lights. Oh my god, just put this put this here just do it just do it yes now that is pretty we have our main house here we have a couple trees i do want to have like a a garden thing going on like right here or something okay don't question don't question how i did this okay don't question it look how nice that is oh my gosh okay and then fence double farm fence gate i'll just put it right here okay that's what I'm gonna do for now for the farm. Okay, so now we have like a little farm over here, like an actual farm right next to our barn house. And then I was thinking of like adding a pond somewhere. I don't know where. What would be a nice place? Maybe, maybe in this area right here, this could be a nice pond. I'm gonna do shallow because I'm broke. With the update, it added like some smaller things as well. So I heard that the pool color changed or something with the pool changed. It's okay still. It's all right. I don't mind it. I do miss the old water though. I'm sure most of us miss it. Some of us probably, some of you guys probably actually like them. Let me know how you feel about the water chain. Okay, I got my things out of the way. We got a garden going on. We've got a little pond. Look at that. Look what, look how much that actually helps with the plot. Oh my gosh. I keep forgetting that there is hay in this game. Like there's hay bales. It's like one of, I feel like a hay bale is super important for fall things. Like why don't I have it? Why didn't I add it to, I don't know, my fall festival and stuff. Like look at that. Look how much of a difference that makes just a simple hay bale i'm gonna have to delete a plot i think to get more money 
I'm not going to work. <laughs> I'm not going to work. I'm deleting a plot. I think we need some benches over here. I'm running out of money. We have $3,000 now. <laughs> oh no. I love how I told myself I wasn't going to work for the money, but I ended up doing it. Really good feeling. I'm just going to s just shove a bunch of these giant trees in the back. <laughs> You really thought, oh my god, Pete is improving. No, he's still doing very much similar stuff that he always does. At least I'm using giant trees this time. It's not just all these small little trees here. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's going. It's totally going. Okay, I'm gonna go and start decorating the inside of this house now. It is just a giant rectangle on the inside, but at least we made up for it on the outside. Cause look how beautiful it was. So questionable before. Let's do a kitchen right here. I'm already imagining a nice kitchen right here. A uh, living room could be here. Maybe like a small office area in this little area. Okay, so I looked up barn house interiors, and I really like this little style we have going on here. You know, you got. Lots of beams. You got uh, pretty warm colors in here. You got some stone and wood. You know, I really like this style. So oh my god, that took so long. <laughs> it took so long. That took me like two to three hours. So it's not the worst. Um, I'm used to that. But our uh, barn house is finally complete. Let's go ahead and tour it, shall we? Here is our home. This is what it looks like. It is a uh, typical fall barn themed house, I guess. Um, if we go right here, we got a little garden. I don't know why I jumped over that. There's a gate. Some trees um, that I'm growing and some carrots and watermelon. The, the garden. It's a really weird garden over here. But yeah, there's that. And right across from that is a little pond lake thing. So um, yeah, this is pretty much the outside. It is dark right now. I'll show you guys what it looks like during the day. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, this is a bit weird. Don't, don't mind that. But there's just a bunch of trees everywhere. The main focal point of this build was the house and the garden and this little pond. So nothing else mattered. Let's go ahead and go to the inside now. So um, the front of the door is a little bit underwhelming actually. But let's go into the inside. Nice. When you walk in... This is what the house looks like, and it's a little bit different than what I usually do because now I have like split up my floor. So this is a tile kitchen over here, and then of course you got the wood, the rest of the house. I haven't done this in a long time, but yeah, this is what our house looks like. Very nice. I like the colors that we chose here. But yeah, this is the kitchen. Um, could have put more in here, but that's okay. Uh, this is the living room area, and you got a small little office like thing right here um over here is the half bathroom it's like a guest bathroom the, uh, okay the colors for this is weird but yeah small bathroom and right next to the front door actually there's like this little cubby get ready area i don't know why it's like closed off like this but i thought i would use the pantry pantry to put here nice storage area because i didn't know what else to do with that so i did that and then of course more decorations and stuff and here's the stairs the stairs actually look kind of interesting in a way i don't know oh yeah did you see these details i put here too they're not the best looking but it's my first time using some more like beams you know some beams and details here i think it looks nice all right and then we finally go up the stairs which looks really weird um you got your uh this is like a lofted area i guess i try my best to like make it look nice there's not a whole lot of furniture up here, but you know I tried my best with carpet and stuff. Um, this is a small little closet right here. Just some random storage closet. This here is a bedroom. It is the only bedroom in the house. Believe it or not, with this size of a home, there's only one bedroom. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just the main. And then here is a bathroom that I think is all right as well. Uh, try my best to do some different things here and there. And I think it turned out fairly decent. And I believe that is it for this house. So thanks for coming here and um, have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I believe that is basically it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it dumb, silly, inspiring in a way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time ready to watch this and I will talk to you all in the next video. Stay safe. Have a wonderful day. Eat up bread. Signing out. Goodbye, everybody.